Hi, second, third, and fourth grade Bobcats. It's Miss Baber with a quick guidance lesson today. I hope um, this one goes well because this is the third time I've tried to do this today because I keep making mistakes. But that's okay. We all make mistakes. That's actually one of the things that I wanted to talk about. So um, I wanted to talk about worry today um, because that is a feeling that a lot of us are experiencing right now. It is, it is kind of a worrying time. So I wanted to go over worry versus coping thoughts, which um, is actually what we were doing in guidance right before uh, school was closed. So you remember um, when we do our worry versus coping thoughts chart, and I put worry in red, not because worry is bad, but it's the red means like I need to stop and think. Red like a stop sign. I need to stop and pay attention to what I'm worrying about or what I'm thinking about. Um, and then coping is in green because the coping thoughts help you move forward from your worry. Now remember, um, our worry thoughts oftentimes are not very helpful, and they're sometimes they're not as likely to happen or not as likely to be a real problem. And our coping thoughts tend to be more helpful and are more likely to be true. So what I did as an example, because I have heard that this is a worry that some students have right now, I'm worried about completing all of my seesaw assignments. Okay, so that's the, the, the worry thought that a lot of you all have right now. And, um, sorry about that. So for coping thoughts, I came up with three thoughts that can help balance out this worry thought. And the first one says, it's going to be okay. We're all doing our best. And I'm thinking about not just you guys, but the adults, your teachers, your parents, your family, everybody is doing the best they can right now because we've never had to deal with a situation like this before. So we are figuring it out as we go along, just like you guys are. So as long as we are trying our best, it's going to be okay. So that's my first coping thought. My second coping thought is I can break up my assignments and do a few each day so it doesn't feel so overwhelming to do everything all at once. And then when I finish that, that block of assignments, I can go take a break, have fun, go exercise, or get some rest. Okay. And then the last one I put for coping thoughts are number three, I can ask an adult at home or at school for help. You can ask your teacher through Seesaw, or you can ask an, an adult or an old, older sibling or family member at home for help. You don't have to figure out everything on your own. And if they're not able to help you, that's okay too, as long as we're trying. Okay, so this is a, an example of worry versus coping thoughts. And what I would like you to do, if you can, you can post your own worry versus coping thoughts, with maybe with a worry that you're dealing with, and you can share it um, for your classmates to see and, and for me to see. I'd be really interested to see uh, what you guys are thinking about. Okay, that's all we have for today. It's great to um, see you guys. I'm looking forward to seeing your comments. I love you. See you next week.